So as we start to accelerate into the Gogan rollout, decentralization on Cardano is also speeding up, and it was recently announced that on Sunday, December the 6th, K will be moving to 500. It's been four months since the launch of Shelly, and after carefully monitoring the network and watching the ecosystem and community grow, this K parameter shift will be the next phase of growth for the Cardano ecosystem. Anything that affects the rewards mechanism is going to be a bit of a hot topic. And the goal since the beginning has always been to reward the long-term ADA holders and the ones that are committed to seeing Cardano become a success. And in the long term, the system can only be successful if we achieve wide decentralization. Having a wide range of stake pool operators in different parts of the world with different backgrounds helps to create diversity. And that diversity is what makes Cardano secure and more resilient to change. Many economic systems have a tendency towards consolidation and a small number of strong players. And as many of us know, moving away from a consolidation of power into an open decentralized ecosystem is one of the points of all this. It's a chance to give everyone the opportunity to play, not just the big guys. And one way to stop the consolidation of all the ADA into a few large pools is the built-in mechanism that automatically diminishes rewards of a stake pool once it increases above a certain threshold, thus encouraging delegators of that pool to move to a lesser saturated pool and making the amount of ADA more widely spread out around the ecosystem, and that improves the health and safety of the network. Now, if you're not familiar with what the K parameter is, the K parameter is essentially a soft cap on pool size. And unfortunately, K can't be moved in small increments like how the D parameter has been and slowly decreasing each epoch. And the reason for this is that K requires both stake pool operators and delegators to take action. For pool operators, this means careful adjustments to their parameters and in particular, their margins. For delegators, this means choosing new pools to delegate to, especially if their chosen pool becomes oversaturated. And let's be honest, a lot of us just wanna set it and forget it. Therefore, the best strategy for adjusting K is going to be larger, less frequent moves while also moving as fast as the network dynamics and economics will allow. There's a lot to think about when it comes to the best solution, and this approach is one that minimizes disruption for current successful pools and their delegators while maximizing the opportunity for medium and smaller pools to mint blocks and grow their delegation. And as I mentioned at the top of this video, the K move to 500 will be happening December 6th, and that's going to move the threshold from 210 million ADA to 64 million ADA, and this means that the top 100 pools will become saturated. And so if you're currently delegated to one of those top 100 pools and want to continue earning optimal rewards, then you can redelegate any time, just make sure it's before the end of Epoch 233. And I'd also suggest you check out the saturation of your pool a few days before the change happens to make sure everything's good. If you're still delegated to a pool after December 6th that's saturated, you won't lose any of your ADA. Let's make that clear. Your ADA is safe, but you will receive less of a return on that ADA. Now, worst case, you'll lose maybe half of your rewards for any Epoch your ADA is in a massively saturated pool. Comparatively, a bit of saturation will only have a minor effect, but still enough you'll want to pay attention to it. So this is a good time to take a look at your staking choices. I'll have another video for you very soon to help with delegation tips, so stay tuned for that. And it should be added that any ADA that's lost from being in an oversaturated pool actually just goes into the treasury for future use. So the ADA is not lost or destroyed, but put back into the community. The focus needs to remain on the long-term goal, which has always been a broader decentralized network. K being at 500 is just another stop before K moves to 1000. When modeling the long-term viability of stake pools, K equaling 1000 was determined to be an ideal number for long-term sustainability. And as a result, the move of K to 1000 is being planned for March, 2021. Given, however, that this is still five months out, there are gonna be a lot of factors to consider in the jump from 500 to 1000, and this is still something that's being discussed internally as well as with the community. The social dynamics of all these moves is just as important as the technical application. There will be community panels and seminars in the future to discuss this move. With the D parameter set to hit zero in March 2021, meaning all the blocks being made will solely be made by stake pools, increasing K to 1000 at the same time helps to spread the responsibility across a wider range of participants. With Gogan rolling out and Voltaire governance already being tested with Project Catalyst, the number one goal now becomes decentralization. And so what we're going to be seeing happening very soon is hardware wallet delegation from Trezor followed by Ledger. This is going to open up more ADA for staking along with the ability to delegate to multiple pools from one wallet. And soon community members will be able to start curating pool lists to help shape delegation choices. And on top of all of that, IOG will be retiring all but one of their public pools and encouraging delegators to switch their ADA to community pools along with delegating IOG ADA to community pools. With smart contracts and multi-currency support on the way, the high level of decentralization will be the crown jewel of the ecosystem that sets it apart from all the others and gives it a strong competitive advantage. 
Achieving the highest level of decentralization in the world is the ultimate goal for any blockchain system. But true decentralization can't be created through mathematic theorems or adjusting parameters. It's never going to be enough. It ultimately lies with the Cardano community to make the choices that take the system in the right direction. It's not an I, but a we with Cardano. And that's why feedback and discussion is not only welcomed, but encouraged.